I'm about to go for an autumn late afternoon stalk, so uh, let's hope I get something. I spot a bit of movement in this tree and I can see the squirrel he's staying really still and he thinks I can't see him I laze him I think about my aim point and I give him two mil that's all over two mil that's all over I am just behind the eye and he drops like a stone. Oh, 40 meters, straight in the noggin. Flipping it, this calibration on the Matt Windsor tune is spot on. Fantastic. This rifle is starting to impress me more and more. Sat down there in the soaking wet shot out of this tree all the way over here in this little crook of the branch to be honest I don't hold out much hope of finding him because mother hi mum yeah I've just shot a squirrel so I've got to try and find it as I was saying it's fallen into some really thick brush I'm 100% sure that it's out cold let's see if we can find him anyway found him pretty much straight away In there he is. Lovely autumn squirrel. Doesn't get any more humane than that. Get in. Perfect. Just hit him. There. Two mil dots. This 97 is becoming an old faithful. Just shows that when I put the work in and do my bit, the rifle will deliver, which is just what you want. Well, that's it for today. I was only out for three quarters of an hour. Um, so, this little guy can go in the pot and I'll enjoy him for my tea. Over the brow of this hill here there's usually loads of rabbits down in the bottom and I'm betting on a day like today, nice and still, quite warm out, I think there'll be some. So I'll just show you where I'm going to stalk. So, over the brow of here, so fingers crossed I'll be able to get one. slowly creep up just to peek over the top and I was right and I can see at least four rabbits three of them run off one of them stupid enough to just stop before the fence <laughs> there's a pheasant there as well I am just at the base of the head and the rabbit jumps with barely a twitch. Perfect shot. Not even the slightest twitch. So here's the rabbit. I'm going to leave the camera zoom, zoomed out to let as much light in as possible so you can see me picking it up. Oh, 
Nice big rabbit that. See where it's it. Can't see where I hit him. That should go lovely on the table. six this morning in the attempt to get some pigeons I've already had one miss which I'm pretty big gutted about but that's the way it goes a lot of the time in this game so I'm at the usual spot in the shed hoping for a nice morning shooting I've already laced it at this point and I know in my mind that I need to give it 4 mil that's hold over. And that's one of the cleanest kills you'll ever come across. Straight down. Very humane. What a fantastic shot! 53 metres! Look at this. Set the camera up just in there, and I wasn't happy with the angle because over that way there's a, a railway line. So I wanted to be shooting just straight into the field. So I just moved myself out here. And that is by far my furthest shot on film. I'm pretty sure. And the pellet landed exactly where I aimed. Something there he was. 52 metres, which is 57 yards. 57 yards with the Matt Windsor tune from the seated position. Let's go and have a look at the pigeon. See if we can find him. Well, there's that Woody then. And to all the people who say that you can't hunt effectively past 40 yards or 30 yards with a any air rifle below sub 12 foot pound is obviously uh, is obviously incorrect because put the pellet exactly where I wanted. You can hunt effectively when you <laughs> when you do put the practice in and have a have a good quality rifle like the Virac. Well, I'm back in my seat position now, in the shed under the city tree, after having a bit of success down the field on that extremely long range pigeon. So now it's back to the waiting game. I spot this woody and it's about 25 metres, so I aim pretty much dead on. The pellet lands where I want it to but the pigeon just tumbles off camera and I can see it fall just come down I know he's down here somewhere but I do not know where I saw him drop somewhere over here but it was hard to see from the angle that I was at well, I wouldn't mind chancing that it dropped just behind these uh, trees here because can't see it round here and I'm really I am certain it went down because as you heard it hit really hard and he's he just got a bit of wind underneath him and then tumbled down but I don't know where he is shame well I just saw a magpie off camera this time because they're a bit skittish and I just wanted to get the shot off there he is then. Stone dead. I 
Nice shot that. Here we've got this magpie. We'll see where I hit it, but I went for a heart and lung shot. So that does tend to drop the magpies instantly. It uh, just dropped behind that tree. So I was in there on my normal position. And he was just on one of these branches here. I wanted to film it, but the landowner really has a bit of a problem with magpies on this bit of land because he's got sheep and they, uh, they can be a bit of a nuisance so this is one of the things that he wants to get rid of so I thought rather than faffing about with the camera I'd rather just get the shot off and uh, do a good job for him really so that's why you didn't see it now what I'm going to do is I've got this little stick I'm going to prop that up there set it up as a decoy This woody came in. I didn't want to faff round on this one, so I did everything as quickly as I could because it looked a bit twitchy at first. So I quickly shoulder the rifle, squeeze the trigger, and the pigeon drops to the right. Straight down. No messing about with that one. Nor the old over. Well, I found my pigeon. Lovely sized one for once. Been getting a lot of young ones recently. It's uh, still twitching from nerves. But that's a really, really nice woody. Well, I'm about ready to go off now. Just uh, got a sheep from at the top field. It's not very well. We don't think it's going to make it for very much longer. But I've had a pretty good morning. I took my first really long range pigeon magpie and another pigeon so yeah not bad lovely day and all